Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about how to get a bunch of NEX cubes easily. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate to subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to clarify over here is the NEX cube is different from the class EX cubes, okay? As you can see over here, I have 19,000 N Braver EX cubes because I made the Braver. However, these cubes cannot be used as NEX cubes for transferring items or exchanging for items. You actually need the actual NEX cube, which is the red one over here, in order to exchange for a lot of the goodies. One of the main reasons why a lot of people have been asking me where to get a bunch of these NEX cubes is because of the current event going on when we go to item recycle and you go to star gems over here, you can actually exchange for a hundred star gems every single week. The problem is you actually need a lot of NEX cubes as you need 75 NEX cubes to get these hundred star gems every single week. And then on top of that, if you want the alpha reactors where you can get another 350,000 meseta every single week, you're going to need an additional 150 NEX cubes. So a lot of people are like, okay, Carol, where on earth do you farm these and how do you get these quickly? So the fastest and least painful way is going to be through the item trader and just exchanging for it. So when we open up the shop menu, you actually go down to item exchange Stia over here and you scroll down. And once you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see NEX cubes where you can exchange your Infernium for NEX cubes. You can also exchange them for class EX cubes if you need any. But the main thing that we're going to be focusing on today is going to be the NEX cube. As you can see over here, we can exchange 30 Infernium for 10 NEX cubes every single week. So you can just add this into your weekly rotation of exchangeable items so that you actually get extra NEX cubes. However, there is one that is limitless, and that is actually through the Arcs Record Badge Exchange. So instead of getting your Star Gems as well as your Weapon Camos, you scroll down a little bit further and you'll see there are NEX cubes over here where you can pick up as many as you want, as long as you have the Arcs Record Badges. As you can see, I've been slacking quite a bit, so I only have 108 but it only costs three Arcs Record badges for one NEX cube. So as you can see here, I can actually exchange all 108 Arcs Record badges into 36 NEX cubes if I want to do that, but I'm not gonna do that because I still haven't picked up all my weapon camos and I still value Star Gems a little bit more. Future Care over here, I totally forgot about the Item Lab Exchange. Um, so thank you for the comments actually for reminding me about this. So uh, if you guys have noticed, this is actually a re-upload of the video. This video actually did go live for like an hour less than an hour and then i took it down because the comment sections were like carol you've got this great method so all credit goes to you guys but the method is actually super simple we come over here to the item lab and we go to exchange enhancement materials other enhancement materials and as you can see here there is the nex cube we click on that and you can actually exchange your class ex cubes into nex cubes at the cost of 10 of them for one of them however as you can see here i've got 19,000 braver ex cubes i can turn a bunch of them into regular EX cubes. So I turn 999 of them into 99 NEX cubes. I click confirm and what bam, we just obtained 99 NEX cubes, which we can use to purchase all of the stuff that we wanted. So again, to the item recycle, if you wanted your 100 star gems over here, you can purchase that. If you need more EX cubes because you want to buy the alpha reactors, you can do that as well. And remember, it's not only the braver EX cubes, you can use any classes EX cubes. You can use your hunter, your ranger, you can use a combination of them it doesn't really matter it's up to you but since you know i mean braver and i have so many of these braver ex cubes i might as well use them and convert them all into n ex cubes and there is no weekly limit this is unlimited you can do this as many times as you want look we just made another 99 so now we have 198 of these and we can keep going forever and ever and ever until you get enough n ex cubes to satisfy all your needs so again, all credit goes out to my comment section. Thank you, Zero Hour Gang, for helping me out there. That came in very, very clutch. Anyway, back to the video. All right, with the easy methods out of the way, the last method is, of course, just grinding and leveling up. As you can see over here, when my Braver is level 90, which is currently the max level, when I over level, I will get another cube. As it says here, until cube acquisition, 2.3 million more EXP. So after I obtain 2.3 million EXP, I will get one NEX cube. 
However, this only happens at max level. As you can see, my force class over here, it doesn't say anything about a cube. It just says until next level. So you do need to hit the level cap on your main class and over level in order to obtain these NEX cubes. So for players who only play one class or focus on one class, this is gonna be incredibly easy since all you need to do is just continue to play the game normally go to the nameless city, start farming there, go run purple triggers, go to combat zones. There are plenty of methods to just level up and gain EXP as, as long as you're defeating enemies, you will always earn EXP. Now, out of all those game modes, personally, I recommend the nameless city exploration simply because when you are running around the nameless city and defeating enemies and opening up those treasure boxes, you can actually obtain an EX cubes right off the rip. And this is just an easier way to just get a bunch of NEX cubes. And on top of that, there are a bunch of titles tied with the Nameless City in order to obtain a bunch of those Augment Transfer Pass vouchers, which you're going to need if you are planning to transfer any of your Augments to any new gear that comes out in the future. But on top of all of that, all of the mobs in the Nameless City are actually level 90 and above, which means that you get the most amount of EXP when defeating enemies here. Yes, you actually get more EXP defeating enemies in the Nameless City than in a combat zone, so I do recommend people to just farm here instead. However, for whatever reason, if you do prefer farming in combat zones, I recommend farming in Belugana Runes or in Lost Central as the mobs over here are level 85 versus all of the other areas, the mobs are a lot lower level, so you're going to be gaining a lot less EXP. Now, another way to earn a bunch of EXP is through the Urgent Quest. You actually get a metric button of EXP from completing these Urgent Quests, so I do recommend to run it whenever you can. However, just make sure that before you run the urgent quest that you talk to Leah May over here as she does offer daily tasks over here, which give you 100,000 EXP for completing an urgent quest. So on top of the regular EXP you're getting from the UQ itself, you're getting an additional 100,000 EXP. That is actually pretty massive. Now, Leah May has a lot of tasks over here that give you 100,000 EXP, which require you to go to a combat zone and defeat a bunch of enemies, as well as collecting a bunch of minerals and stuff like that. So I do recommend that if you are really hell bent on getting a lot of EXP and getting a lot of those NEX cubes, you can just pick up all of Leah May's tasks every single day and complete this. Remember, this is a daily reset. So you can do all of these tasks every single day and it gives a significant amount of EXP. Now, if you're planning to do Leah May's tasks every single day, I highly recommend that you pick up the Alliance task as well as you can get some extra money. The EXP isn't that great. You know, you only get 10,000 EXP, but you do get an additional 20,000 Meseta as well as two Alliance badges, which is very useful because you can use your Alliance badges to buy Star Gems as well as Genesis points, as well as other goodies over here if you do need anything else. Now, another way to level up incredibly quickly is by consuming your yellow triggers. So you obtain these yellow triggers by farming and combat zones. As you can see, I farmed a lot. So I've got 2,228 of these yellow triggers. It consumes five of these yellow triggers in order to gain around 500,000 to a million EXP per run. And each run is about three minutes. All you need to do is simply open up your map and go all the way up here to the yellow portal Stia. And as you can see here, activate by using B trigger common yellow times five you're simply going to click on this and you can run this over and over and over now if you are planning to use a bunch of your yellow triggers in order to farm exp through this method i highly recommend that you stack a bunch of exp boosters as it will greatly increase the amount of exp that you gain per run over here so again if you do decide to run those yellow triggers make sure that you stack your nexp plus 25 percent as well as your nex exps which stack on top of this you can actually pop like a 50 percent and thus you actually get 75 percent additional exp exp per run however that is just from the boosters itself as you can see over here i've got a natural 20 percent because i have 10 percent from the concert buff that just ended and by my add-on skills as long as you have all 10 add-on skills even if it's all level one you get an additional 10 percent try boost so uh, that definitely helps out quite a bit special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel it really means a lot to me thank you again but yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.